They say black lives matter. Okay, tell that to the black guy who's got the barrel of his chrome black nine pointed in the eyes of another black guy. Tell him black lives matter. Tell that to little Ray Ray who can't seem to keep a job so he hits up Big Cousin Day Day because he has to borrow his pistol and rob Mr. Johnson because tomorrow is payday. Tell him black lives matter. See, these are the types of things that people say when they want you to believe black lives don't actually matter. See, they'll ask you, why do you say black lives matter all the time if you don't use it to acknowledge black on black crime? It seems to us that black lives only matter sometimes. And to them, I usually reply, the reason I don't need to say black lives matter at those times is because the black people involved usually go to jail for their crimes. Black lives matter is about justice. It is not solely about recognition. It's not just about people dying. It's their killers getting away with it. It's not about being accepted in a country born to reject me. It's about dying at the hands of someone who has sworn to protect me. Mm -hmm. And just when our movement started to make sense, they came up with their own hashtag. It sounds something like this. They call it all lives matter. Mm -hmm. Fine, all lives matter. Now tell that to the judge who presided over the case of Walter Scott being shot in his back while he was running away. Tell him all lives matter. Mm -hmm. Tell that to the cops in Cleveland who barely put their cars in the park before they jumped out and shot a kid for playing at the park. Tell them all lives matter. See, when you say all lives matter, I don't really understand it. So, here's my interpretation. Home A is on fire. Home B is just fine. And the fire truck, it pulls up just in the nick of time. They hop back, they attach their hose to the fire hydrant, and they tell everybody stand back so they can see. And they grab their hose and they point, but they're aiming at home B. Mm. They've come to save the house that's already fine while ignoring the disaster. But I mean, that's their privilege. All homes matter. Mm. <laughs> So when you, say all homes, when you say all lives matter, it's necessary that I dismiss you because all lives mattering has never been the issue. I named this poem Blank Lives Matter, hoping that you can fill in the blank, hoping that it would be understood. I'm no better than you, but all lives can't matter until the black ones do. Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Brought your face into this one. They say the best things in life are free. So why do I pay dues? And if we only have them so we can break them, then why do we make rules? They say don't cry because it's over. You should smile because it happened. But contemplating why it ended makes it hard to get over what happened. See, life brings on so many questions. One might sit and ponder. I was even told that absence makes the heart grow fonder. And I sat there thinking, why? Why does separation seem to make you care more? Or have you ever truly established how you feel about the person you care for? See, they say no one can define love. And if you could, how would you know? And if actions speak louder than words, don't talk them. What would you show? See, they say love is omnipresent, meaning there's no one place you can't find it, but how do you know when it's among you if you cannot seem to define it? Would you say love is what's between a mother and her child, or do you just love someone you've known for a while? If you saw a married couple, do you consider that love, or does it come from one source, the man that sits above? See, I'm interested to know. You can love food or fashion. You can love your pets. Does that make love a strong passion? Is love a burning desire, or is it simply a four-letter word? If you spoke love to deaf ears, do you believe you'd still be heard? Love. They tell me I'm not allowed to have my cake and eat it too, but if I cut off one slice and devour it, tell me what did I just do? <laughs> clearly, I've eaten my cake and clearly some still remain, so either that quote is false or we don't look at things the same. See, they say <laughs> the person in a relationship who cares more tries the most, and I was told that people with trust issues are the ones who lie the most. And I know liars, they think a lot. They need to remember many things, but I was told if you always tell the truth, you don't have to remember anything. Now I think about that. And all the things I let slide through, I almost cried too, but I got too much pride too. So, might get somebody in trouble tonight. It's not like I tried to, but go home and ask your partner a question. If the answer starts with, you're probably about to get lied to, see? They say, be careful what you ask for. Be very mindful for what you wish. They say, what goes around comes around, because karma is a... Yes, she is. It's a dog. Yes. Karma is a dog. And a dog is a man's best friend, and a man will tell his best friends his secrets, so his secrets shall come around to bite him in the end. Karma is a dog. And it seems that now that I don't study, I keep getting these deep tests. And I'm looking for a girl who wants just a little more than deep sex because I carry a lot of baggage from my last relationship is deep stress. And now all I do is give my exhale deep breaths. I say all I do is give my exhale deep breaths. See, they just say the best things in life are free. There are several I forgot to mention. And if the best things in life are free, then thank you all for paying attention. And I apologize for being so excited. I know it's written all over my face, but I can't help it. And it's poetry. I leave my heart all over the place.